Hi, Rob Grimes again in the Micros booth, but I have the pleasure of sitting with uh, Peter Altebeff, who is the president and CEO of Micros, who just came on board. So welcome to Micros, welcome to the industry. Thank you, Rob. It's a pleasure to be here and to be with you. So let me ask you this, because we're just getting to know each other. You know, first of all, what is it that attracts you to the industry? Forget about Micros, but just the industry in general. And then what about Micros? Well, look, first of all, the industry is exciting because in part, it's going through amazing change. And anytime you have change in a technology space, you have people thinking and looking around and doing things differently. And that provides folks that have great experience in the industry and next generation platforms to gain further market share and gain customers' mindset. And Micros is a great opportunity to do that. Now you've been on board for five and months? Yep. Since, okay. And so you've gotten to meet customers? Many. Many customers. So. What's your takeaway from meeting, because you guys work with some of the biggest companies and, and some of the smallest companies in the industry, what's your takeaway from the people you've met as to what they're looking for and, and you know, how you're going to work and, and provide that going forward in the next generation of micros? It's interesting, because first of all, we're a trusted name. We've been working with many of the largest customers for years and decades, and that gives us an advantage in helping them broaden their approach to the marketplace. So they're looking at different kinds of technologies. They're looking at mobility, they're looking at big data, they're looking at business analytics. We can bring those to the table with a relationship and with a methodology that they know and trust. That's a big advantage for us. So part of what we have to do is make sure we bring everything in that specter to them and we found them to be more than willing and more than open. It's interesting, we actually are beginning to help them on non-technology matters. We're actually going in with our experience about how our relationships with the industries work, and we're just saying, we're your partner, maybe we can help over here. We're not even charging for that stuff. It's just help we can provide. And to me, that's the way you build these relationships over time. Now, your background, you came from Dell, and uh, you've had a long history in the technology space, so you're bringing other experiences to the table. Are there a couple, three things that come from your background that you are going to bring to Micros going forward? You know, when you think about the hospitality IT industry, it's, it's very important. It is actually still a niche. Uh, you know, when you look at hotels, restaurants, and retails, the amount of dollars spent in IT compared to some of the other sectors, financial services for one, is still relatively small. So what part of my background is to kind of bring industrial strength methodologies uh, and efficiencies to running data centers, to running software as a service, to running application development, so we can frankly get these next generation offerings out faster and a little more effectively than perhaps anybody working in the space today because they're used to working it as a niche. Uh, and so that's job one. Job two is how do we take that industrial strength and marry it with this institutional knowledge because there's no company that knows this space the way Micros does. So I think the two is going to be a pretty powerful combination. Okay, now, in your, in your uh, previous life, you also worked in multiple industries as well. Now, Micros works in multiple industries being, you know, really, you know, the leader in food service, the leader in hospitality, the leader in retail, but how do you bring all those things together moving forward because the market may tend to look at Micros in separate silos at times, yet there are so many operators, especially internationally, that are working in all three spaces, so how do you how do you bring that all together? Well, we're doing that already. Uh, but you know, the key to a good services firm is to do that behind the scenes, right? So we're taking our data center and hosting capabilities and we're spreading it, whether you're a hotel, whether you're software, whether you're a restaurant, or whether you're retail. More importantly, five years from now, you know, restaurants and retails clearly are going to be able to merge. I mean, restaurant will be a specific piece of what will be a broader technology offering. So for us to have really outstanding capabilities, both on the restaurant and the retail side, means we're bringing the best of both of them together. Hotels is a little bit of a separate subject because it is so domain specific, except when you look at, for instance, the Far East, you're having hotels now where the majority of their revenue is actually coming from their food and beverage operations. And so there, it's not so much restaurant and retail, there it's hotel and food and beverage. And so our leverage in putting all three together uh, is actually really powerful. 
and we're getting our system development and our applications teams aligned in all three so that we're creating very, very close-knit portals. So it's all going to be a pretty seamless transition. And, you know, when you go to a large uh, theme park, you know, it's not food and beverage, it's not retail, it's both of those so things. It's everything. So I think we're actually in the right three verticals, and I think there's enormous leverage that our position gives us in those three verticals. It's a very exciting place to be. So this is your first time at the NRA show. It is. So have you had any chance to walk around at all, even just in the general area of this booth? I, I have started, but I'm going to do a lot more. So in your, in your small walkabout, is there anything that you've seen here that just sort of took you by surprise you didn't know about the restaurant industry? I think we've got the best booth, i got to say. <laughs> I think this is actually a brand new space, uh, and it's terrific. I actually just came from uh, a similar event in Europe, uh, and, and the traffic we had and the customer interest. I will say I think the market is turning around. Uh, the number of, uh, if you will, leads or the number of customer interactions we've had both here and in Europe blows away what we've had the last two day, two, week, two years. So it seems to me like there's a lot more interest in what's happening, which is good because our next generation mobility platforms are ready now. Uh, we just introduced a new tablet. We just introduced a new stand. We just introduced new software that runs on iOS. And so it, it looks like our timing is really good because we're bringing to market right now a market that is really saying, how do we start going and investing in these new platforms? Great. And uh, last question for you, you know, you know, clearly you're a consumer like everybody else. You take right. your family out to eat, you stay in a hotel, you go to a retail store. Has the experience of the last five, mi uh, five months changed the way that you now view those industries? It really, it really has, I've got to tell you. And they are great industries. The only problem with these industries is when you speak, certainly from the hotel side or the restaurant side, the quality of my food has gone way up and the quantity has gone way up. <laughs> so we I don't know how these hoteliers stay with the trim waistline because they are going to amazing places. So yes, it's been a new experience, Rob, from the, from the food standpoint in both of those. But seriously, um, these are amazingly vibrant markets uh, and that makes it really interesting to wake up in the morning and go to work. That's great. Well, thank you for your time and welcome aboard. Welcome to the NRA and we'll thank look forward right. to speaking to you again. Thank you. Pleasure.